to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I am going to discuss about an analysis of the Emperor Preserved trial that has affirmed that a wide ranging impact in patients with LVF greater than or equal to 50%. Now, emphaglofazin has previously proven successful in patients with heart failure as well as in reduced ejection fraction in the Emperor Reduced trial previously, which included patients with an LVF below 40%. While the Emperor Preserved trial has shown that emphaglofazin provides a wide range of benefits in patients with true heart failure and preserved ejection fraction, meaning that an LVF of 50% or greater. The analysis demonstrates that emphaglifluzin maintains its benefits in terms of hard clinical outcomes, quality of life, symptom status as well as kidney function. The Emperor Preserved trial enrolled approximately 6,000 patients with chronic heart failure and LVF greater than 40% and either a structural heart disease or a hospitalization for heart failure in the past year. Before getting randomized to either emphagliflozin or placebo, patients were stratified by baseline LVF and ultimately the trial included only 4,000 patients with an ejection fraction of 50% or greater and approximately 2,000 patients with an ejection fraction of 41 to 49%. In the patients with an LVF of an at least 50% proportion, emphagliflozin was associated with a significant reduction in cardiovascular death or even the first HF hospitalizations. That was driven by a reduction in the first HF hospitalizations with no significant difference in cardiovascular death. The findings were similar in patients with an LVF of 41 to 49%, although the magnitude of the reductions in hospitalizations was much greater than in patients with high higher ejection fractions. Therefore, the take-home message that the clinicians said that all the clinicians who are busy can now refer less to ejection fraction and focus more on what the phenotype of the patient is with regard to whether or not they can use this important therapy. Now, we have with us today Dr. Prem Agarwal, a senior cardiologist at Sanjeevan Hospital, giving us his valuable comments on this topic. Thank you, Nandita. In fact, this development uh, is a continuation of the uh, main results of placebo control trial which was released this summer and which uh, showed that uh, sodium glucose transporters 2 that is SGL2 inhibitors lowers down the risk of cardiovascular death, hospitalization and heart failure in patients with preserved disease infection with emphagrophism. And uh, this was emperor preserved trial and uh, it was a, a many but many competitor, uh, commentators questioned that uh, whether this was truly truly a trial of heart failure with preserved disease infection because this particular trial included a lot of patients with ejection fraction between 41 to 50, 49 and this uh, particular mid-range uh, uh, heart failure, now it is called and failure, uh, was not uh, re representing the uh, preserved ejection fraction. To address this uncertainty, the trial investigator uh, in fact uh, gave a, a extended uh, trial, extended uh, study to the people who are already uh, more than 50% uh, ejection fraction and uh, we found that emphagrophazine is found to be successful in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction and it is also found to be uh, positive in heart failure with uh, preserved ejection fraction. In fact, uh, having uh, patients who are having ejection fraction more than 50% were isolated and given the um, uh, enrolled in the trial and we found that uh, these people also got improved similar effects uh, uh, despite of any ejection fraction and then uh, they, uh, they they had a i mean a very important uh, landmark uh, uh, judgment that uh, emphagliflozin is if not only in reduced ejection fraction but also in high injection fraction that is more than 50 percent and can be used now and this is uh, this particular development is uh, further uh, very encouraging because for the patients with heart cave heart failure with present infection we never had a uh, very good medicine and all the medicine which have been used all the drugs which have been used for the reduced ejection fraction have not been found to be useful in preserved ejection fraction so uh, i think that uh, this particular uh, presentation is a landmark and shall be very very useful in um, guiding the clinician that they should early start the glofazines, especially emphaglofazine, in the patients who are suffering from preserved ejection fraction. Thank you. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, 
and press the bell icon.